Hi everyone, JP here at Websites for Beginners. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with conditional logic in Happy Forms. And maybe I'm going to tell you what is conditional logic. You may not know what it is and how it works. Before I do that, if you have no idea what Happy Forms is all about, please follow the link in the description below to a previous video we had done on that. And that will introduce you to Happy Forms, how you can create a free contact with it in WordPress, insert those short codes and how to work with the builder. In this video though, we are working with the Pro add-on. So for that, you'll have to go over to the Happy Forms site also check the link in the description below. This is not an affiliate link. It's purely for your interest and go and see what they've got there in terms of the packages they offer as well as the features. And we are looking at this one today, conditional logic, which is included in these pro add-ons. Let's see what I've got here. On this page here on my site, I have two forms and this is how conditional logic is going to work for you. There's going to be one part that says show or another part that says hide. And you can use either of them and mix them as you create forms. The best way to explain conditional logic to you is to show it to you. Pardon the pun. Let's go into the back. Here is my administration dashboard. And I will go to my happy forms here in the sidebar on the left. And I will select all forms so we can get access to those two forms that I had created. Let's begin with the show one. This is a very popular one. And to edit it, I'm simply going to click on it. So every time I reference this form that I'm working on, I'm referencing this one, Conditional Logic Show. The reason I'm leaving it open is so that we can just refresh and you can see how this works in real time. The form I'm building is a RSVP for a wedding invitation. I want people to tell me, are you coming to my wedding? Yes or no. I already have the email there of the person and then their name. The next thing I want to know is, are you coming? And that is very important. Conditional logic always works with a question where you have a selection to make. The selection can be a drop down, It can be a single choice like this one or multiple choice. But first you have to create a selection like that. Single choice, multiple choice or drop down and then conditional logic will work. So for example, are you coming to my wedding? Yes or no is a single choice. I click on that and say, are you coming to the wedding? And then here add two choices. The first one will be yes. And the second one will be no. Now up to this point, we don't have conditional logic yet. What we want to know now is if you say yes, if you select yes, how many people are coming? But if you say no, I don't need to know that. Let me show you. Add a part and we add a number. I'll search for number, click on that. And then over here, type in how many people will be attending. And then go down here where you see logic, select that. And we are going to say this part will show. And by saying that, it means it's hidden. If part is, are you coming to the wedding? And option is yes. What do you see here already? You see that I've added this part, but it doesn't show here. Because I've told this entry here, you are only allowed to show if are you coming to the wedding is yes. If I click yes here, let's see it's going to show this. If I click no, it takes it away. So it's a condition and that is conditional logic. So let's go to about me to the front. We refresh it and then we just go to that section. Person comes to your site, email name. Are you coming to the wedding? Yes. How many people will be attending? And then over here you select one or two, so on. If that person were to select no, then there's nothing to fill in. And that's how conditional logic works. It display when it needs to display or it hides when it needs to hide. Let's do one more show before we go into the hide. For this one, I'll build out something a little bit more extravagant. Let's say you want to know how this person wants to be reached. If you communicate with them, will it be via email? Will it be via phone? How do they want you to reach them? 
So we add a new part here and that will be single choice. And then I say, how can I reach you? And then the first one, we will say email. Second one, we will say phone. Third one, I'll say WhatsApp. And I will say, how can I reach you? Change that to preferred contact method. There you go. So you have email, phone, WhatsApp. What we want here is that when somebody selects email, it will open an email field. When they select phone, it will open a phone field. Same for WhatsApp. Let's go down, add a part, and we begin with email. So we say here, preferred email. And then we go to logic. This part will show if part is preferred contact method and option is email. Add another part. This time we look for phone. Phone. And we say preferred mobile number. Logic again. This part will show if part is preferred contact method, phone. And then we do the same for WhatsApp. And WhatsApp is also phone number, so we use phone again. WhatsApp preference. And same. We do the same. Go to this one, we'll show, and that the part is preferred contact method and WhatsApp. Let's update it here. And as you can see, currently nothing shows here. Let's go to the front, refresh this page. And now you see we have our conditional logic one, my form, which is a show form. First one, are you coming to the wedding? Yes. And then it opens this new field and I can choose the number. Preferred contact method, so I can update you about the wedding. If I select email, it will give an email field, so it will only accept email addresses. If I were to select phone, it will be a phone number, and same for WhatsApp. And this is how show works in conditional logic. Now, hide is the opposite. With hide, you basically build out the form, and if somebody makes a certain selection, it hides the rest of the form. Hide you will use where you believe the preferred response will be positive, that people will have a lot to fill in, and that the hide will be the exception. Let's use the wedding again as another example. Let's go back, and this time I will exit here. Let's go load that second form, conditional logic hide. I add a part, and this will be a single choice. Are you coming? And that is for our wedding. First choice is yes, absolutely. And the second one, unfortunately not. Now what I'm going to do is I'll add that how many people are coming, which is a number part. Number. And how many people are coming? How many people will be attending, rather? Just because you're coming doesn't mean you're going to attend. And what I'm going to say is, this one is going to display, but it will hide the moment somebody chooses no. So I go to my logic. This part will hide if part is, are you coming? And option is, no, unfortunately not. The reason I'm doing this is I, I actually want people to say yes. I don't want them to say no. So I leave this whole form there for them to fill in. But if they do select no, then this part will hide. Let's put another one in there. Any special requests, any special food requests. And that will be, let's say, long text. Any special food considerations. That could also be yes, no, but I'm going to just leave it like this. And again, we're going to say this will hide if part is, are you coming? And unfortunately, no. Let's update this and then go to the front end. Refresh. This is our hide form. So you can see everything is here. I'm going to enter my email, my name. And if I say yes, I just need to fill in these. But look what happens if I select no. Those two disappear. There is no reason for this person to fill in those fields. So you take it away. That is conditional logic. What a powerful feature within Happy Forms. It's great. It's a pro add-on, so if you are interested in that and you can see application for it on your site, 
check the link in the description below. More videos like this here on YouTube, so please make sure you subscribe. Be safe. See you in the next video.